Good afternoon and welcome to CPTV, the Charlestown Pirate Television Report. It's Tuesday, May 31st. I'm Mandy Stidham. And I'm Donnie Rourke. Stay tuned for the latest news and information for Charlestown High School coming up next. The CHS Pirate Football Program has announced a mandatory parent meeting for Wednesday, June 1st, beginning at 7 p.m. in the high school gym. This is a mandatory meeting for all parents of all prospective CHS football players of the upcoming 2011 football season. Parents need to keep in mind that meeting with Coach Hawkins is required before their player can get their equipment. For more information, contact Coach Hawkins. Attention cadet teachers, even though the computers are being picked up, you are still expected to complete your weekly logs and end of semester reflections. These forms can be printed off from Mr. Tolliver's website or you can see him for copies. A future announcement will be made concerning when you will begin staying at CHS once again. The Charleston High School Marching Band is looking for students interested in joining Color Guard. No experience is needed. We will teach you about the art of movement, dance, choreography, and music. All you have to do is show up to the two introductory sessions on Thursday, June 2nd and Tuesday, June 7th from 3 to 4.30 p.m. Please wear comfortable clothing and shoes. If you have any questions, contact Mr. Owner, Erica Corral, or Kaylee Pace for more information. A benefit concert for Japan will be held on the Charlestown Square Friday, June 3rd from 6 to 10 p.m. Many local artists will be performing. Admission is completely free. Food and games will be $1 or less. Concert t-shirts are on sale now. All proceeds go to the Red Cross to help Japan. See Lindsay Hartman or Ashley Hoff for more information. Come out and support a great cause. Any student interested in volunteer opportunities and a change to impact philanthropy in southern Indiana is encouraged to apply for the Youth Philanthropy Council. This is an excellent opportunity for students hoping to build their experiences in order to win college scholarships. The best way to get your announcement on the CPTV report is to have a teacher email it to Mr. Gross. Please get that announcement to us three days in advance if possible. The latest Charlestown weather forecast plus the latest local sports coming up after the break. Good afternoon, I'm Jake Atkins with the latest Charlestown weather forecast. Today, sunny to partly cloudy, hot, high of 94. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, warm, low of 72. Tomorrow, partly cloudy with isolated thunderstorms, possibly hot, high 91. Chance of rain is 30%. That's a look at the latest Charlestown weather. Now the latest sports with Mariah Holt. Good afternoon, I'm Mariah Holt and here's the latest Charlestown High School sports. The Charlestown Pirate baseball team put together two strong innings in the fourth and fifth to stun the Mitchell Blue Jackets 9-4 in the Silver Creek Class 3A sectional first round Friday night. Crawford County jumped all over Charlestown pitcher Donovan McCutcheon early, scoring seven runs kept by a grand slam on its way to an 11-1 win in semifinal sectional play. The Pirates' sole run came with two outs in the bottom of the fifth inning when Stephen Coyne hit a solo home run. The Pirates end the season 9-14. That's a look at sports. A final word from the newsroom is next. Do you have a friend with a birthday coming up? If so, why not say happy birthday in a special way by putting their pictures on the CPTV report? Simply bring in six pictures and three dollars into room A103 in the business wing anytime between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. and we'll get that special announcement on the CPTV report. Please bring in your pictures in at least two days in advance if possible. Now you're up to date with the latest CPTV news, weather, and sports. I'm Donnie Roark. And I'm Manny Stim. Have a great day Pirates and thank you for watching the CPTV report.